So JD, we're here at a freezing cold and foggy snow stadium after a 2-2 draw. You know, we were tuning up in the first half, but Tottenham are a good side and they came back strong in the second half and levelled it up. What's your thoughts on that one? Uh, on reflection, it's probably a fair result in terms of, uh, if you look at the two halves, I thought it was excellent first half. Um, I thought it was really good. Um, game plan went well. Um, the two goals that Rick and Zach score I thought were, were, were top draw. I think we could have had another one as well thrown in there. So, you know, the... Um, the first half we're really pleased with um, and second half they've they've dominated um, and obviously they deserve to get themselves back in the game I mean they might cut themselves unfortunately yeah, because they've missed a couple of chances but I think if you reflect and look when we've gone two up I think Oggs and Rick um, they've both had great chances uh, especially Oggs is one to, um, to, to, to go I think to make it free so, you know so it, it's key moments in games but I've got to be honest I think they're, I think they're a very very good side I think they're going to be um, right up there this year competing with the top boys it's obvious they've coached and managed really well and they've changed shapes a couple of times in game um, and they've got some they've got some you know some really really good players they're front players you know in, in, in the captain and uh, and Joe Turner always cause problems so I've got no questions that I, I think they'll be right up there uh, this season so sometimes when you get a point um, away um, it's not the worst even though we're 2 one you say it's a it's a fast start from us you know we're we're two up inside 35 minutes, I think it was. Yep. Rick's taken his goal incredibly well. He's yep. basically run from his own half, knocked yep. the ball past someone and past the keeper. And then Zach's is another great bit of work from Rick, putting Zach through and a great finish against the far post. You say clinical maybe in the second half was probably what we were missing? Um, a bit of both, really. I think I, I agree. I think the goal's great. The counter-attack and Rick, Rick, Rick's done brilliant. It's a great goal by Rick. Um, and, and Zach, again, group work by Rick slid in, and it's a great finish by Zach as well. So, yeah, I agree. I, yeah, clinical in terms, but we created two chances I can, that I can recall now, which is the Ogs and Rick, and they are great. They are really, really good chances. But we haven't played one off in the second half, you know, so in terms of you can look at those chances, I think we've got to reflect everywhere as a side. You know, we can't just go there and look at look at Rick, at Rick and Ogs. I know for those chances, we've got to look at the way we've defended as well. You know, the, 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 the two goals, I think we could defend both goals better. Um, I think obviously that like, crosses into our box, you know. So, yeah, like I say, I, I think in reflection, I think it's a fair result. You say, you know, it's defending in the second half, changed a few personnel around today, sort of a bit more defensively with the back four or five? Yeah, yeah. So, so we changed shape at the start of the game and we've actually changed twice in game, uh, mainly because it was getting on top faster. So we, we've obviously tried to counteract that. I think it was about 10 minutes where we look, we look better. Um, we, we, we flipped to a five. Um, and, and we look better, um, but um, a little bit by personnel we've got available to us as well. Obviously, because uh, Bruno um, obviously took a bit of a knock, and Zach took a knock, a bit of a knock, so they've had to come off. And we've been unfortunate with our bench today as well because um, Jordan Edwards was sick this morning, so uh, he didn't play. And uh, JC had an absolute nightmare, and um, was due to come in this morning from Spain, and he ended up in Paris due to his flight being diverted. And I think JC walked onto the bench at four o'clock. So we're a little bit hampered with that, but that's no excuses. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to make excuses. I'm just saying that maybe the changes obviously impacts the shape and what, and what you do with the personnel as well. So yeah, look, we've tried to counteract them in the second half because they're a good side and, and they've changed shape. And uh, yeah, I think it, it, it hasn't worked majorly well because we've been defending for large periods. Again, we go thick and fast in this league. We go again Tuesday, we've got Tiverton at home. Which thoughts ahead of that game? I know they lost today, but it's yeah. a good side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they have uh, a new manager. Obviously, I think when you get a new manager, you get you get that kind of boost and momentum, don't you? You know, you get players that are currently there, obviously playing for them, um, and then obviously he's brought in some new players as well. So that they're going to have um, it's going to be a tough game for us. I think I know they got they lost today, but I think the previous three, I think they won and won two and drawn one, and, and they picked up some really good results as well. I think they went away at Hamwell, went away to Shulin. You know, these are tough places to go and they've gone and got results. So, you know, they're going to have, they can still be on that high and they've still got that momentum, you know, um, being uh, being on that high. So, yeah, we, listen, we've got to prepare well um, for that game. You know, we need, I think we, because of our second half performance, we need a little bit of a reaction as well. Um, we need to we need to really home in on our home form. We've just come off three victories of being at home. So, you know, let's go, let's go and put up another, another decent home performance. Let's go and win the game. And if we do that, then um, taking four points out of the two games, I, I don't think it would be the worst. Thank you, JD, and we'll speak again on Tuesday. Thank you.